Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to GameSet Live. Well, after several long months of, not months, I shouldn't say, weeks of searching and scouring the internet, looking on different websites, Best Buy Target, etc., not finding stock of the Xbox Series X, I finally locally found the Xbox Series X for a decent price. I'll talk more about that later. But man, am I ready? I, I haven't opened this yet, so we're going to do a, a reveal here. I'm sure you've probably seen this otherwise, but I have never... Uh, to date seen the Xbox Series X in person. So I'm excited to uh, take this out of the box, see what all it comes with. And then also we're gonna compare it to the Xbox One X in size and just how the ports and stuff are layout. So let's, let's get on with the unboxing. All right, so when we're unboxing here, I'm just gonna get these off. It has four tabs on it that you gotta pull off. Two, one on each side, and then we've got two on the bottom. I haven't taken this last one off yet, so. All right, so it looks like I gotta flip it around. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got under the hood. Well, there you go. There's a little, it's, I imagine that's gonna be the whole size of it. Let's, this just comes off like that. Okay, so I'm gonna move. I really like the box, um, a lot smaller than previous Xbox boxes. So I definitely appreciate making them making it a bit smaller, uh, easy to carry around, easy to move. Just try and keep this intact a bit. I do, I'm one of those people that I do like to keep it as much as possible, similar to how it came. So let's do this. Oof. Wow, look at that bad boy. Oof. Turn the camera a little bit so you guys can get a better look at what I'm looking at. So here is the Xbox Series X. Now you can mount it a couple ways. The ways they've been marketing it have all been vertical like so. But because of how mine is set up, and you can see the green. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's, so it's the inside is green. Not, I thought it was lighted green, but it looks like it's just the inside. So that, look, that looks pretty cool. That's a nice little uh, cosmetic touch they added to it. There are rubber feet right here, as you can see right here. So that's going to allow you to mount it on this side. And I believe you can also... Don't quote me on this, but there is this little, or I should say, this big foot on the bottom right here, where I believe, I'll have to look into it a little more, but I believe you can take off that and put it on the side. I could be wrong, though. Of course, we have all the ports in the back. We've got the, it looks like we have two USB ports, one Ethernet port. Uh, and ex a storage expansion and then the power cord and then also the HDMI out and then on the left right here that's just a security uh, device where you can attach it to a desk so if someone breaks it it'll sound off so nothing nothing crazy as far as that it looks like there's a lot of space for fans and um, it's going to stay, it's not going to get uh, dusty. I've heard it's fairly quiet. 
So first impressions, it's bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be a little smaller. With that being said, it is definitely smaller. I'd say it's probably going to take up smaller space than the um, than the One X. Also, something to note, uh, this is a HDMI Ultra, Ultra High Speed, which means this HDMI cord it comes with can handle the 4K at 120 hertz speeds, which is really nice. Uh, that's one thing I wasn't too sure about, but it will include it, it will include those. Of course, we have the Xbox Series X controller. Uh, only difference I can really notice is the this button down here. And honestly, it feels a little cheaper. Not gonna lie, it feels a little cheaper than the One X controller. So we'll see how that handles in actuality. Batteries, and then we've got the power cord. Looks like we have the manual, um, and then how to set it up. So I don't think there's anything else in here. Uh, I do really like this box. It's really nicely set up. Um, the other ones, it was usually really tough on how you get it out, how you get it in, if you want to keep in your box. I'm going to keep this box for sure. I usually always keep them just because I like to store it in the box uh, when I'm moving it or moving it from my house to a friend's house or something like that. So that'll definitely be useful. So as we're looking, we're going to look at now at the size comparison of the One X, which now that I'm looking at it, is it, it is a bit bigger than I did expect. And here is the... One X versus the Series X. All in all, it is, like I said, I'm, I mean, I'm saying this again, it is much larger than I expected it. I thought it was going to be more like this big and maybe this tall. I'll just have to rework how I mount it uh, next to behind my TV or how I put it on my TV. But um, there is, so we've got a couple different things I'm noticing that are different here. It looks like uh, the One X, let's turn both around. The One X has a, a bit more ports on the back of it. So we've got two HDMI outs. Now this one is if you have your TV and you have a, you put it to your cable box instead of to your TV and your cable box. That's what this is for. So you can use your Xbox as kind of a go-between for the cable. Um, it also has an, uh, optical audio port and an IR out port. So those two are not on the Series X. I believe that's because they're kind of all compact into the um, into the HDMI port. So I don't think you're going to be missing out on anything. Uh, that being said, for what I use it, it has all the ports I need. So all in all, um, I'm look most looking forward to the 4K at 120 hertz. Uh, with this Series X, that's the main reason I got it. I have a compatible TV that will, in fact, give me those frame rates. So if you're looking at getting the Series X and you say you want it mainly for the uh, the boost in your your visuals, your graphics with the 4K at 120 hertz, make sure you're looking at the correct or you have a, a compatible display with that because uh, you're going to be missing out on a lot of those features. You will get the faster load times. You will get overall a better running system, but you will be missing out on those visuals. So all in all, I'm super excited uh, to, that I got was able to get this Series X. I did get it for $660 from what I've been seeing online. You're pretty tough luck to get it at a, a, anything cheaper than $700 if you're buying from eBay, uh, unless you can get lucky with a stock drop. Uh, my suggestions, Facebook Marketplace is your best friend. Uh, it seems like the local guys, people in your town, uh, they're a little bit more easy to work with for the most part than if you're trying to buy from someone on eBay. So that's my suggestion if you're not able to wait or if you're not able to find a stock, uh, a restock availability from one of the major retailers. Uh, but all on all considered, I'm super excited to get this puppy running, uh, put in some, some good hours on this thing. So... Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and my unboxing of the Xbox Series X. Hoping to get some really good gameplay out of this one for some new videos, maybe some streams. We'll see what's com coming up in the future. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember to keep it live.